Hey guys, Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com. I have something new that I would like to share with you today. This is really cool. It's called the Sun Flare. And you've seen me doing um, videos on the All-American Sun Oven. This is not to replace the All-American Sun Oven. It is to add to it. Um, they both have their places on our homestead. And I am grateful to have two ovens that I can keep going at the same time because I have big eaters. and. Also, the benefit of this one is that it is um, compact and portable. Um, the sun oven is portable, but this goes one step further in that I can pack this simply on my pack frame when we are heading out into the wilderness. So this is a really big plus for me um, because as much as I love to cook, I also like to be out doing the same things the guys are and you know, paying it for gold, foraging for mushrooms, whatever it is, instead of cooking. So this is a benefit to me to be able to do it all, especially right now. Um, today, we are training for a 100-pound ruck march on the 4th of July. I've got a garden that I've got to get going. I've got seeds that I've got to get in the ground. I've got five articles to write. I've got videos to edit, blog posts to post. So there's a lot to do here. and animals to feed, goats to milk, you know, the list goes on. So I need convenience. I need to be able to be cooking while I'm working. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to set this up. But this is the Sun Flare and it's a solar oven, portable solar oven. So I'm going to show you what you get with this. Um, you get your enamelware pot with a lid. I did not open this yet. Um, these are kind of unique. Um, you also get your thermometer. Uh, to go in the sun flare oven, which I will show you in a second. Just going to show you the components quick because that way I can get everything opened up and out of the way here. These are really unique. These are silicone. They're made out of silicone. As you saw, here's the other one. It folds flat, so this can go in my pack. The lids do not fit on tight, but it would give me something to cook in. Um, I also have the ability of cooking in my canteen cup, in my canteen you know um, you can cook in anything um, the shinier they are though the longer it's going to take to cook so this is a benefit to me um, if you have your charred uh, canteen cut from being in the fire that'll work fine too has the lid so you can put it on there it will keep the extra moisture in there um, and I'm just going to breeze through what we have here there is a tray which can be used for cookies you name it this also provides a black base um, to put your food on. You also have two racks that can be used inside the oven or underneath the oven um, to give it a little bit of an elevation to give you better sun depending on what your needs are. So I am going to get some of these things out of the way. Bear with me a second here. Okay, and we're going to open up this oven. Okay, let's take a look at the oven. Got his carry case. Hi, Copper. Are you going to help me? You want to eat what's in the we're making for dinner, don't you? Okay, this is so, so cool and so simple to use. Get that spider out of there. Okay. This is so super simple to use. Hopefully you can see this. There's Velcro. I'm going to bring this close again. It's one big piece. It's like you would use for your, um, a lot of the coolers are made out of. Wow, this is so reflective, I'm not even sure. I can't see the camera. But anyway, hopefully you can see this. There's Velcro right here and Velcro right there. So you Velcro this together like such. Push down on that line. Same thing on the other side. And you are forming your um, sun oven here. So that's simple. I'm gonna set this here, put this on the inside. Now, um, like I said, I got to feed my guys as part of my job. I love feeding my family. And tonight they are going to have really good Pennsylvania smoked sausage. My mom and dad sent us some of this. This is like top notch. So excited. I'm very excited to have it because Idaho doesn't smoke things like they do back in Pennsylvania. And I'm going to do baked potatoes. Real simple meal. We'll have a fresh salad with it. Um, this particular setup here comes from the sun oven. I like this because it's stacked and I can put my meat on the bottom, my potatoes on top. So um, bear with me a second here while I throw this together. I just took off my uh, LT Wright Coyote. 
knife off of my belt, which would have come in handy too, but I've got my buck knife as well. These are essentials on the homestead, so bear with me here while I put these in the pans. I love being able to utilize the sun, and I'm going to be doing that a lot again this summer with all that we've got going on. Um, a lot going on out here, as always. Now I'm going to just put some water in these. It helps to have the liquid in here, so I'm just going to gives you good broth too and I'm gonna stack this on top of there hoping you can see well you can somewhat see what I'm doing and I'll show you what I have done once I have it all together here so bear with me again I'm like rushing through the homestead because I got other work to do but I want to show you these things and be able to share with you how simple these things are to do it's, it's not rocket science and it's it's a healthy meal okay there you go. That's simple. My sausage is in the bottom pan. Hopefully you can see that with a little bit of liquid. My potatoes are on the top. Again with a little bit of liquid. And I could put these side by side in here, which is another benefit. This is a little larger, a little wider. Um, but I still, the sun oven is not going to be replaced in my home. This is just such a benefit for us to have both of these. And you know, we're on a budget. We're like everybody else, scrambling through, trying to make it by, and things have to get budgeted for. And, you know, so it's got to be really important and really worth, have a lot of value to it for it to end up on our homestead. And when it does, we share it with you because if it's worthy, other people need to know about it. So now I just simply, there's a bee after me, and it wasn't one of my honeybees. Um, all I have to do here is zip this shut. And my meal will be ready when the mountain man is ready to eat. Mountain boy is visiting grandparents in Pennsylvania, so he's going to miss out on the baked potatoes and the sausage, which are both his favorite. But there you go. It's that simple. Just put it together, set it here. I'll check back on it uh, while I'm passing and show you the uh, thermometer, show you where we're at temperature-wise. But this is a really unique unit, and I like that I can carry this with me on my pack frame. I'll throw this on my bull pack frame with my ruck and just head out with it. It doesn't, it's not heavy, it's just fabric. So, real lightweight, real easy to use, and let's see what it does with my food. So, thanks for joining. Stay tuned, I'll show you some more, and uh, we'll be back. Hey guys, this has only been out here about two minutes, two, three minutes. It went from 100 degrees to. Heading towards 175 right now, so these this unit's awesome. Heating up nice, and Mountain Man will have a good tasty dinner. Uh, we'll keep, I'll keep jumping back on here. I'll show you the finished product, and we'll see how this uh, sun flare fares. So, catch you in a bit. Okay, guys. A front moved in, and we, I got a lot of clouds, but I think that my meal is finished. But I want to show you some things, being that was the situation today. Um, being prepared at multiple levels is really important, obviously. Um, using the sun is a great, great tool. It's a free resource to us, but we do deal with the clouds. We do deal with weather changes. So when that happens, um, one thing that's nice with these containers and also using cast iron in your sun oven is that once it's hot, if the clouds come in, it's going to still keep cooking your food. So that is a huge plus. Plus, when the clouds do come in, just because the clouds come in for a brief period doesn't mean that you have to stop what you're doing and take everything inside. Your food's still going to cook. It's still going to, the sun's going to return and you'll be fine. I use my sun ovens like a slow cooker all the time. They are cooking all day long. I don't have time to mess with them when we're working hard on these projects that we are. I just don't have time to mess with it. So as long as you're moving it with the sun, as you can see, this is turned in at a different angle and I'm videoing from a different angle because I kept it with the sun today. So I will check that in a second, but I want to show you two alternatives um, to have handy. This is actually from the Sun Oven Company, and this is a cloudy day uh, stove. It comes with the uh, two cloudy day cubes, and this is a really unique piece. It's really simple. It folds up square. Your cubes go inside here. You have very many multi-uses for this. We will do a review on this separate. Um, 
But what's really cool is these cubes can be used as they are, or if you're frugal like we are, you're going to put sticks in the bottom of this and use this as your um, fire starter and just take a small piece off of here. So here I can cook a big pot across the top of this. I can close this up and cook a small pot on it, my canteen cup, whatever. So this is a way to continue cooking your meals when you're in a situation or even out camping. Um, we have to be careful because we can't always have open fires. This summer is going to be a real challenge for us because um, typically our snow melt is melting off into July and right now there's nothing on the mountains. There hasn't been anything on our big peaks for a month already. Uh, we really had a very dry uh, winter and this summer is going to be um, really dry for us and we're really going to be at risk of fires. So keep us in your prayers for that. But it's in God's hands. So... But the, having another source and a way to cook that's not going to be kicking out uh, sparks so freely is a great way to do it. Um, your rocket stoves are another great uh, tool. Um, the Mountain Boy did a review on that. Um, but this is another favorite. We carry these in our packs. Um, this is the Ember Light stove. This thing is so cool. I like this as well. Um, this is handy, small, lightweight. And has multiple uses, which like I said, I will show you later. But this thing is the coolest thing ever. I just love how this thing comes apart and goes together. It is super simple. Hopefully I won't go throwing it all over the ground here. But they all piece together. The center piece comes out very easily. And all the sides are hinged together. It goes flat. They all go together, and it goes in the nice little storage pouch that comes with it. And in my pack it goes. Look how little that is. It takes up a little bit more than, I don't know, credit card thickness. I mean, it's not thick at all. It's amazing. And I love this because it's easy to um, transport, easy to use, sticks for fuel. Uh, we have a lot of um, fat wood, so, you know, we're set. So this is a great, great tool. Ember light stoves. I'll have links to these in the uh, description. Um... And also on our website, but let me just unzip this. The temperature had gotten up to about 200, and still, um, we like to cook all of our foods low temperature, long period of time, makes them juicy, and um, makes it really um, flavorful and moist. So, here I have a fork with my potatoes. They're a little hard yet, not actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. So those are ready. And I'm sure that because those are ready, my sausage is plenty ready. It's smoked sausage, so it just really needs to be reheated. That's nice and juicy. So let me show you that. Got the juices in there. I don't know if you can see them. But it's nice and cooked up. It's hot. Oh, gosh, it smells so good. This is the best smoked sausage, so thanks mom and dad for sending that out. Those are the kind of care packages we get, and we are absolutely blessed to receive them. So keep in mind, just like with the Sun Oven um, from All American Sun Oven, you don't want to open this. You want to let it just stay closed, let it cook. You don't need to stir your food. You just want to let that lid shut so that the heat stays in there and it keeps cooking. So even with a cloudy day today, I still have my meal for the mountain man. Um, so this is an A-plus in my book also. And like I said earlier, I'm not downgrading the Sun Oven by All-American Sun Oven at all. I am very grateful to have both of these tools on my homestead because, like I said, I can put them side by side. Um, when you are in a situation that the only thing you have to use is a Sun Oven, um, you're going to be wanting to use that to heat your water. You're going to need that to heat water to wash dishes, to maybe clean wounds. You know, um, you may heat water to wa uh, wash your clothes. You're going to need these for multi-purposes. And it takes a while for things to cook. I bake my breads. I bake my pastries. I bake pizza. I bake everything in here. And being able to dry, dehydrate things is key. You can cook your eggs in 20 minutes and in the shell, in the box, in the sun oven. So the sun oven is an amazing tool regardless what brand you use. But I do like this one here because I can pack this in with us. We go out into the woods for three to five days and live off the land. And I could cook up some really good squirrel in this. So 
you know, it's all, all how you want to use it, but I think that both of these on my homestead are such a key and such a plus for us because of how we utilize. I can have breads baking in my sun oven, one of them, while I'm making my meal in the other. So, like I said, certain tools may be more costly, um, and they have to, all, everything has to be budgeted for us, and I'm sure for you. So, you know, when you have a bigger thing, it needs to be something that's going to really fit your homestead and your needs well. And I highly recommend the Sun Flare Solar Cooker and Solar Oven as well as All American Sun Oven. Some of your items are going to be pricey, but you know what? It's important sometimes to buy quality. And that is something that we also focus on and we share with our audience. So keep that in mind. You know, you may need to invest a couple extra dollars, just like with my bull pack. It's a pricey pack, but it it is top notch compared to the other packs we've had. And I'm gonna need that. I wanted to mention also, I had mentioned about doing training with the mountain man. We are doing a hundred pound ruck march, which means we are walking a 5k three miles with 100 pounds on our back and we are doing that on the 4th of July and we encourage you to check out treyerwilderness.com slash extra dash mile we are going the extra mile for camppatriot.org they are an organization that focuses on giving hope to our wounded and disabled veterans they do amazing things if you haven't heard of them check out their site also check out a book called A Warrior's Faith by Robert Vera. Robert joined me on my radio show a couple weeks ago, and um, amazing book. It um, covers a lot of what Camp Patriot does, and it is a story of a hero, and I highly encourage you to read that book. It is an amazing read and worth your time, and be, it'll be one that you can't put down. We read that as a family, and we're just awed at the story, so I encourage you to check that out. Camp Patriot does so much, and so do our veterans, and we want to give back. Um, we pay our $35 a piece um, as our entry fee to be part of the Camp Patriot Fun Run in Pasco, Washington on the 4th of July. And the more we thought about it, it just wasn't enough. And we can do more. And, you know, we all have a voice. It's how we choose to use it. And we want to support people um, that need our support and that need our help and use our voice in a positive way. And in all honesty, we feel that our veterans do not get the respect, appreciation, and honor, as well as support that they need. And we really encourage you to join us. We are trying to raise an additional $25,000 for our wounded and disabled veterans. And I think they're well worth it. And I don't even think $25,000 is a drop in the bucket compared to what they do for us. So please consider uh, joining us. As I had mentioned in another video, um, we have 12,000 people following us alone on Facebook. If every one of those people were to give $2, that's less than a cup of, the cost of a cup of coffee. If you would, were to just give $2, that would put us at $24,000. So it's not, it's not that you have to donate and, and um, disturb your family's budget. It's a matter of just giving two dollars and strength in numbers, and and we should be strength in numbers. We should be joining forces as people of the United States to be able to benefit our veterans. So our hat is off to all of our military, past, current, fallen, and future, and your families for your sacrifices. And we encourage you to join us in our efforts to go the extra mile. So thanks so much, guys, for joining us. Um, thank you for uh, following our craziness. And be sure to join us over at treyerwilderness.com slash extra dash mile. Thanks for your time today. I know your time is as valuable as mine, and I appreciate you watching this. You guys take care. God bless. Since the keystone was laid, this country was founded. Our bill's been paid with blood Our boys go off Some never come home They understand what it's gonna cost They go anyway With friends and brothers They wanna watch out for each other he takes boots on the ground, blood on the sand, tears flowing free back home. Remember why they go, the price.
say pain.